Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. It means the world to me. Today I'm going to be talking about meditation, smiling meditation more specifically and more specifically. And I've been doing this meditation a lot recently. I started meditating when I was in junior year. I started with guided meditations, which I'll link some of my favorites down below. Always get me high, just pretty much tell you how to begin meditating and what to do. And then I really like doing silent meditations now. I like to meditate off the sounds of the environment that I'm in, just whatever's going on and getting high off of that. So I just found out about this smiling meditation and I just wanted to share with you. So yeah, I get a lot of questions about meditation. I do meditate frequently, so I'm not surprised. Meditation, there's this famous quote by Buddha that says, someone's asking him, well, what do you gain from meditation? And he responds, it's not about what you gain, it's what you lose. You lose anxiety, you lose stress, you lose these thoughts that are just attacking you all the time. And I ask people this a lot, I ask them like, I ask people if they're happy, I ask them how their soul feels, but I also ask people like, how is your mind? Like, is your mind bombarded with thoughts or is it easy for you to find moments of peace and silence within your mind? And a lot of people don't. Like, a lot of people don't find peace in their mind and a lot of people that I've asked this say their thoughts are, like, endlessly going on in their head and they can't even sleep at night because their thoughts are just non-stop going and going and going. I just feel like that's so much of a burden. There's this pool of serenity and peace within me that I can access at any time. And the more that I've meditated, the easier it is to access that pool of complete tranquility. And it literally is like my mind just becomes very silent. And it's a very good feeling to not, yeah, have all these thoughts like attacking your mind all the time and not even attacking, but you're just constantly thinking and judging and receiving and analyzing and it's just a lot <laughs> and it can be overwhelming, it can be tiring and when your mind is silent and you're just observing your thoughts, you can have more energy to spend on what you choose to allow to spend your energy on. Okay, that was a really weird worded sentence. I think that it allows more room for creativity and for you to center your energy on certain thoughts and ideas instead of indulging in every single thought that comes through your head. The process of like silencing your mind isn't just repressing every thought and saying, nope, I have to be silent right now. I can't think anything. It's more so noticing that the thought is there and then not delving into it. Like, I can think about my ex-boyfriend. Okay, this is really random. I can think about my ex-boyfriend. Let's call him Ralph. That's so not his name. I'll just be like, oh, Ralph, that time we went to the lake. And instead of remembering and going into that whole memory and reminiscing about everything, instead I could just be like, oh, that's a thought about Ralph. Okay. And that's it. End the thought. And not continue and indulge in it and obsess over it and just let it go. And then the same thing can happen with anything, with school or with friends or with anything. Just notice what you're thinking about. And I do this all the time, even though I'm not meditating, I'm just like, what does my mind like focus on most of the time? What is my mental energy being spent on? And that's a really interesting thing to do. I think that you should do it as well. I just sit there and I like to sit up when I meditate and I'll either have my hands open, palms up, or I'll have one hand over the other. There's also hand meditations that you can do as well. I just do this at night and in the morning and I just find that calm, quiet place within me and I just allow everything to rest and be silent for some time. This smiling meditation, which I have been doing, it is basically sitting and smiling and sending a smile to every organ of your body, inside and outside, just sending a smile to every part of your body. I know that sounds ridiculous, but think about it. Energy is very real. By sending a smile, I basically mean sending love and gratitude. So thinking about all the organs in your body and how they're helping to keep you alive and basically saying thank you to them while you meditate and while your head is very calm and you're just sending good energy and love to your different parts of your body and even if that sounds very pseudoscience -y, even if that sounds so silly which it kind of sounded silly to me i was like wow people would like totally make fun of this this is like such a a silly meditation i did it and it i started laughing and giggling and i just got so happy and I really have been enjoying it, so I want to share it with you. I know the concept of it sounds weird just to be sending a smile to your body, like what? That's weird, but no, it's really great. So I start this meditation like I start any meditation. I just sit down, upright, and I have my 
palms facing up or you can put one above the other. I just like to have them facing up. I feel like my hands are big sources of energy and visually I see my hands just releasing my aura and my energy out to people so that's why I like to have them facing up kind of like energy orbs just beaming. I know this sounds like ridiculous but I like to visualize my energy that way and I think that we all do have a vibration and energy and I'm just aware of mine in the way that I choose to be aware of mine and um, yeah that's why when I hug people or I touch people or I give people massages they always say it feels so good and they can feel my energy because I consciously try to make my energy spreadable and shareable and I don't know I just like to imagine that I can really really make someone feel good just by my hand on their shoulder or holding their hand. I just like to um, visualize sending, you know, love to other people through my physical touch, okay? And through these videos. But anyways, I start off like normal and just become aware of your breath. You don't have to try and control it in any way. Just realize and be aware of how your breath is. Is it short and painful? Is it long and easy and light? Just become aware of how your breath is doing. You can do this for a few moments and I already feel so at peace and so meditative and step one in this meditation after finding that peace and the silence in the mind is to smile and I'm already doing that because I'm so happy to be here filming this video for you and feel your smile. Feel the joy in it. And what I like to do is just pretty much say thank you to every part of my face. And I just become aware and become conscious of all the muscles that it's taken me to smile in my face right now. I think about my cheeks and my chin and my lips, my eyebrows, and I just say thank you. And I notice them on my face and I just send a smile to them. And by smile, I mean just a little burst of love and gratitude and Thanks. I just say thank you. And then I go to my eyes and my eyelashes and and every time I do this my smile grows and widens and I start giggling because it just feels so good and it feels silly to say thank you to like the muscles in your face but it just is like a gift to yourself to do so. And you can move down to the rest of your body. You can do your whole left arm. Feel your left arm, send out love and gratitude, send a smile to your left arm. And then do the same with your right. Then I visualize the air flowing in and out of my lungs and how incredible that is and that it happens without me trying, that my body is just constantly <laughs> like allowing oxygen into my cells and flowing that throughout all of my limbs, every breath is keeping me alive. Every breath is oxygenating the cells that are traveling throughout my body and keeping every limb going and moving and flexing and it's incredible. Just send a smile to my lungs. I like to visualize it that way. Like if I could see my lungs outside of my body and hold them and just smile at them and be like, thank you. That's basically what, I, what I'm doing. And you just go through every organ in your body. I like to think about its function and its vital purpose in my biology and in my health. And I just say thank you. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I think that having an attitude of gratitude is really transformative and powerful. It can lead to such an abundant life and it can lead to so much happiness, just being grateful for the smallest and most mundane things, even though our bodies are insane and they're not mundane. Our bodies are ridiculous and I am mind blown and perplexed that I'm even here. I love science because I love biology in particular because you see like, to the like smallest microscopic degree, if some little thing were different, then humans would not be able to survive. Even like how this planet was formed and created, it took years and years and years and so many extinctions and the perfect mix of chemicals and for the first plant to grow, the first flower to ever blossom in existence. Can you imagine that there was a time on this planet where there was the first flower ever blooming? Like 
That is, imagine the planet <laughs> with no humans and the first flower blossoming on it. Oh my god. It's incredible that we exist and that you can watch this and that we can become conscious of our existence. Um, it's really easy for me to just become so grateful of that and I love it because I feel so small in the best way and I just remember that it is a miracle that I'm here, that you are here and doing this meditation and saying thank you to my body helps me see things in a completely different way and I just see everyone and everything for who we are. We're literally just sacks of blood and fat and muscle and bone and we're just walking around on earth and things just get so mixed up with what this society tells us is important and when I do this meditation I'm like no we're literally just like walking skeletons and this is cliche but yes our coffins will all be the same no matter what skin color race gender non-binary kind of human we are like we're just like everything else on this planet we're just made of this universe and it's very very simple this always happens to me when I meditate or when I'm feeling spiritually high is that I feel so much but I can't put it perfectly into words and so I just don't want to say it I just want to make people feel the same thing but I don't know how to do that without explaining it but just meditate honestly and you'll just feel this peace and this love and this tranquility and you'll remember why we're here and you'll connect and you'll be able to see others and love them and because you're just like them and we are all one we are all so similar and there's uh, no need for judgment or hate or separation because those things are fake <laughs> when we go to the root of what we really are we're all the same and there's no need for that i'll feel the weight of different thoughts and some thoughts make me immediately feel anxious and it's a really good practice to pinpoint this and and realize what is triggering you what is causing you anxiety what people what actions or events and to just keep note of that and replace those anxiety causing thoughts with more positive ones you are in control of your own energy and if someone is mean to you or someone does something messed up to you you have a choice to react or just have awareness of the situation you always have a choice a reaction or having awareness and connecting with your spirit and realizing maybe they're having a bad day. Where, like, where are, is their energy coming from? Obviously, people who want to hurt people are hurt themselves. Hurt people hurt people. Like, happy people don't go around doing malicious or evil things to others. And so I think just having that awareness really helps you to not react or respond to the negativity around you because then you're just sucked into it and um, become part of it and help other people be aware of their thoughts and what they're thinking and how they speak about themselves and others. Overall, I just realized that I don't want any one person, thing, or event to dictate my self-worth because it really is up to me. I know a lot of us do have traumas and triggers that we can't control um, because our subconscious responds or our physical bodies respond, but something also that I have been doing, certain things trigger me, like even being in the bathroom sometimes triggers me because I would run to the bathroom when I was younger, when I was afraid and when I was getting hurt. So I would run to the bathroom and I would lock myself in there. And so sometimes when I'm in the bathroom, I get scared. And suddenly like I, I will feel anxious or I'll look in the mirror and I'll like see my childhood self looking in the mirror and it's all kind of frightening. I'm just like, oh my God, this trauma, this thought just kind of overcomes me. And lately what I've been doing, instead of obsessing over it, breaking down and crying and like remembering that pain or that suffering, I just replace it with such positive thoughts motivating thoughts and I kind of give myself a little pep talk and I'm just like wow but look how far you've come like you're here and you're safe and this is amazing and great and so yeah instantly like when I have a bad trigger thought I just replace it and I don't think that's repression necessarily because I'm aware that it's there but I'm not like delving into that thought aware that okay this thing triggered me but I'm not going to like think back to that childhood memory and like obsess over it and think about all the pain that I felt in my life but you can still have that mindset and have this practice even with triggers and traumas um, like I do. So yeah, that's what I have for you today. I hope you like this video. Let me know if you enjoy meditating. I love it. I'm gonna meditate right after this and literally just be in a haze and then I'm gonna go for a walk and get some errands done and it's going to be great. And every part of my day today, I'm just going to be aware and I'm going to be sending love 
to you and gratitude and I'm just going to have an amazing day and I hope that you do as well. I hope you decide to and don't let these outer things get in the way of the inner the inner workings, the inner peace. I just have so much love for you and I just wish you the best and I want to give you all my love and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! So every day I spend my time drinking